Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Kevin. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by to check out this lesson. If you like it, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it if you already subscribed. Welcome back to this lesson. Uh, this lesson, we're going to go over Oklahoma Sun by Zach Bryan. So grab your guitar. I'll get zoomed in. And I'll get this one broke down for you. All right, for this one, we're going to be in standard tuning. The chords you need for it is a A sus2. And how I'm doing that, middle finger on the D string of the second. My ring finger is on the G string of the second and strum from the A string down. And like I said, that's your A sus2. You're going to have an E. And you'll, how I'm doing that is uh, your index finger goes on to the G string of the first. The middle finger is the A string of the second. Ring finger on the D string of the second. And then you'll strum from that low E down. Okay, then you have a B. And how I'm doing that, index finger on the A string of the second, ring finger on the D string of the fourth, pinky on the D string um, of the fourth also. And don't bar across this second fret with your index finger. Kind of keep it lifted up because you want this high E and this B string to ring out. Keep that shape, move that two frets for a C sharp. Same way, let that high E and that B ring out. And you're going to do a couple variations of the of the chord. Um, you will play it this way during the chorus part and then on the verse. Um, a video I've seen of him playing, it looks like he is playing the um, this F sharp note on top of that, um, that B chord. So you just like that shape I showed you earlier. Just take your index finger, put it up here on this low E string and bar across that low E and that A string. But still let these lower chords or this high E and this B string ring out. And just keep that shape and move it up to that um, C sharp. But keeping your index finger on that low E also. Um, like I say, video I've seen of him, looks like he was playing with that index finger on that low E for that B and that C sharp. Um, other than that, the intro and the verse will go this way. Intro and the verse can be played pretty much the same. We're going to start out with that A sus2, then go into the E, and then to that uh, B with this F sharp on top. And then you'll go from that to the C sharp with this G sharp on top. And sometimes he'll make that slide into that C sharp, and other times he just goes from that. B to that C sharp. And there's a couple times or several times throughout the song when he goes places A sus2, he's gonna kind of give an up strum catching this high E and then on that C sharp he'll have an up strum catching that high E kind of let it ring out. Something like that. Um, and this kind of basic strum pattern is going to be a down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Then just repeats. That's kind of basic strum pattern. And uh, sometimes there's going to be like more pause where the um, strum pattern's just kind of mixed up um, for the verse and, and the chorus. Whereas sometimes um, 
he's strumming more often and sometimes he don't strum as much. But like I say, you just kind of pick the way that you want to play it and just make it, make it your own. So the intro kind of has that kind of faster peak in that little second time through. So the first time through would be. Pickens a little bit more harder and a little bit faster that second time through before he goes into the verse. Um, like I said, when you listen to the song, you'll, you'll be able to hear all that. To the verse, and that verse is going to be played the, the same way. And then sometimes, like I say, he slides into that C sharp, and other times he just. He just plays it that way. Um, like I say, that's the intro in the verse. The uh, chorus will go this way. Okay, the chorus will go this way. So the chord progression is kind of the same as the um, verse, um, but it's just slightly different, and the timing of the changes is a little bit different. So you'll start out on the A sus two. Na -na -na. And like I said, this time you'll do just the regular B without that F sharp on top. Na -na -na. B, you can get that up strum, catch that high, that open high E. So this time you go back down to that B, you won't go to that E like you did before. Uh, you'll go right back to that that A sus two. sharp back to that B and then it's going to end on that A sus 2 again and his uh, strumming is a little more erratic there's not really you know a definite type of strum, strum pattern uh, there's more like pauses, I guess you can say, in between the, the strums. And the um, second verse and the second chorus 
um, is the same. Uh, coming out of the course the second time, he'll play the um, little intro or verse part again, uh, just one time through. And he is strumming a little bit harder. And when he gets here to the C sharp, he is kind of accenting the strumming a little bit on that. So it'll sound something like this. So coming out of that uh, chorus a second time. course right there so like I say the chord progression is still the same and what I'm doing there is on them up strums I'm just kind of just dead and kind of just barely lifting off uh, my other strings just kind of to kill them as you're doing that little up strum be something like that. Then it goes into the little closing chorus. pretty much it guys if you got any questions just leave a comment leave a comment let me know what you thought of this lesson and as always please like and subscribe thanks for watching